Hey, everybody. I'm here with Dylan from uh, the Vicissitones in uh, Michigan. How are you, Dylan? I'm pretty good. I'm uh, I'm uh, feeling better than I was earlier because I'm down in my basement where it's cool. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's been very, very hot and, and humid around southeast Michigan. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here as well. And you're in you're in Philadelphia, is that where you're at? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's you know what? Here. <laughs> nice. No one I'm one of the few people that say this, but I love Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of the few people. <laughs> Some of the Philadelphians love it and hate it at the same time. I get that impression. <laughs> um <laughs> so um let's talk about uh first your your pre COVID demo, which is available on uh um on your banking page. Uh tell me how the band started and, and um how you came about doing that demo. Well, I I can't really answer many questions about the demo, but I, I I can tell you how the band started because weirdly I'm actually the the newer newest member of the band, which I mean I've been in it for a few years now, but um, the band began. It was actually started by this guy named Nick Nick Syverson, and he we still have him you know, have his name on our, our uh, website and he's on the demo and he was uh, friendly with, with Jerry, our bass player. And he was, uh, Nick was a, a bartender at, at a place and he, he knew Jerry from Jerry playing music there. And, and Nick said that he wanted to start a surf band and Jerry uh, was into that idea and he reached out to Brent, Brent Truex, who is the other guitar player. And they, along with Mark Gardner, who's from Philadelphia, uh, started the Vicissitones. And uh, Jerry and Brent had been in a band called the Czars that went back at, at least 20 years, probably 25 years, I remember seeing them in the very early 2000s which wasn't really a surf band but it was a partially instrumental uh kind of kind of kitschy retro band you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they wore fezzes and were called the czars and played you know reverby music and surf surfy soundtrack so like spy music and um one thing that was interesting about them is they did record and put out a, a seven inch that was a uh the, the first cover I know of of that uh you know that that Indian song I can't remember what it's called that that's on the uh that they have for a minute in the ghost world movie do you know what I'm talking about oh I know the movie but I, I can't yeah quite that, that yeah uh, it's a I should have brought it down here and I could show it to you it's it's pretty interesting but anyway uh they were might have been the first people to to do like a indie garage band recording of that. And I know that more recently, uh, Olivia Jean recorded that. You know who she is? She's no, no. Uh, Jack Jack White's wife. Okay. Yeah, and she has some some records. I'm into her her music, but anyway, so they started the Vicissitones, and um, they played for a couple of years and then at the same time that they were around I had another band that was called the Rasputones like Rasputin the Mad Monk yeah. and Tones um, kind of similarly themed in a way both kind of accidentally Russian themed um, and uh, our band started playing in 2019 and we were aware of each other and then COVID happened and I just like I just wasn't doing any music uh all all through that well I was actually I started recording a lot but my band sort of sort of fizzled out and the other two guys went on to to do to have another another band um and then 
in 20, this must've been 2021, about around this time, 2021, uh, I, I got Jerry from our band from the Vasisitones reached out to me and said, Hey, uh, Nick isn't playing with us anymore. We would like another guitar player. We wondered if you'd like to join. And I thought, well, that seems like something I should do because I kind of had drifted away from the other guys. And the, the thought of starting another band from scratch is so much work. Um, and we were all, all on the same page. And, and I went and, you know, kind of checked them out. And, and I travel a lot, particularly during the summertime, because my, my wife and I are artists and we go to art fairs and, and things like that. And we're very busy. So I practiced with them a couple times and then I was gone for several weeks in a row. And while I was out on the road, I just learned all of their songs, well, most of them. Uh, and then I gave them demo recordings of my songs. And basically we combined our bands, the Raspy Tones and Vicisitones Mark I into what you have today. But that demo backup was recorded, I think, is, it, is that from 2018? I really don't know much about the, the provenance of it. I think it's primarily kind of like jam room type recordings. And maybe there's some live stuff, but it's, you know, it's pretty lo-fi and casual. And it has its, has its charms. But we're a very different band, I think, I think today than, than where either of us started out. So... The 2023 releases is um, very good, very good. Thanks. The one with the can on it. <laughs> yeah, the the oh, the old bay. Yeah, <laughs> that that was my idea. Yeah, since I joined the band, I I do all the art stuff. Every oh, nice. flyer, everything you see, I, I make that stuff, which is nice. important to me. That's that's as much a being in a band as playing the music. I agree. You know, I I, would, I, agree. I see them as you know multimedia projects art projects absolutely absolutely yeah. uh i i see some really cool things behind your computer behind you is that one of your pieces uh this right this big one that yeah. that actually is that's one of my one of my older paintings that's that's from probably about 15 years ago now can't tell from this but it's a it's tar underneath and then paint on top of tar and it's a weird apocalyptic truck with pipes coming up all like plumbing all on the back of it um nice uh, and then that's an album cover art from a band i was oh i can't see it that one right this thing okay that's from a kind of like a like indie prog rock band i was in in the early 2000s it was called elm from arm i was the bass player in that band and then I don't know. I got a Man or Astro Man poster and a Melvin's poster. Those have been with me since the mid mid late nineties. You know, silkscreen show posters and yeah, very cool. All right, and then that actually is also my artwork over there. That one in the far corner. That's the poster for a, a documentary film that I I co directed and won some awards for. What was the documentary about? It's about artists who who travel like like I do. Oh, very cool, very cool. Yeah. What is that? Um, aside of traveling for a band, how is that? How is that part of your life uh, influenced the music? Oh, uh, I think it influences everything. You know, as a you know as a creative person and 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 an artist. You know, I'm a. I don't really even consider myself a musician. I just consider myself an artist. You know, I don't consider myself a filmmaker. I consider myself an artist. Don't consider myself a painter or a sculptor. I'm just, I'm an artist. And some of my art is made with, you know, instruments. And some of it is made with, you know, raw materials. And, uh, but I, I'm really one who is influenced just by being out in the world and experiencing and seeing um and and that is such a constant part of my life for the last gosh now 21 years i mean i've never i've never had a real like day job um i've i've had some 
you know, like part-time jobs and stuff when I, when I needed, needed them, but I've, I don't like, this is my career. Just being an artist is, is my career. So very cool. Very cool. It's, well, it can't, it can't be separated. You know, sometimes it makes it a little inconvenient to, you know, band scheduling, but you know, in the Vicisitones, there's five people and everybody has an active life and is always going somewhere. So, you know, mm -hmm. you just, do your part put in the work and, and everybody comes together and, and makes it happen and that that's how it is well well dylan i i, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show it was it was great to to hear the uh, the sister tones and, and learn more about your music and uh i really appreciate it and uh i wish you the best of luck all right <laughs>